Let us uh, turn things over uh, into the Weather Center. Anthony J is with us this morning. Happy day after Christmas, Anthony. Hey, good morning, Marshall. Yes, happy uh, Christmas, happy day after Christmas. Yeah, did I, was, say, uh, did I say Christmas for Thanksgiving? Yesterday for you. Uh, anyway, I'm, yeah, 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 it was it was a good Christmas uh, uh, for, for me. Like I said, I got some more cookware, which I love to get. And I, I, uh, I used it beforehand and I used it afterhand. So it was nice. Got to speak to all my kids. I'm going to see uh, uh, my kids a long distance away, but uh, my daughter is uh, going to be in Danbury today. So I'm going down to Danbury to meet her. And you know where we're meeting? I have, Tell me. I, okay, now, do you know anything about the history of pizza in Connecticut? Oh, you know, I do a little bit, yes. I'm going to Frank Pepe's. That is universally acclaimed as the best you know, coal-fired pizza, not only in Connecticut, but one of the tops in the nation. <laughs> oh, you know, very nice. Yeah, I've heard of no, uh, that one. Yeah, they can. And I've heard of... Pepe's really brought pizza to Connecticut and New Haven area. But this one's, uh, they opened up a shop in Danbury, and I checked, and it's just as good as the one in New Haven. I've never been, so that's where I'm going to meet her today. That's excellent, yeah. And I'm a, you know, big pizza connoisseur. Uh, and, you know, I'd like, you know, some some of my favorite places down here. I've also been to the the Mystic Pizza. Is that still up there in eastern Connecticut? Yes, it is, I think. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, I remember yeah. that. So so I'm looking forward to that. And, and. Oh. Really, we had uh, for people traveling in, into the uh, the Christmas and Hanukkah holidays. We've had great weather, and we've got a, a little bump in the road, I guess, Sunday night into Monday. But other than that, we you can't complain about the weather we had for Christmas. No, in fact, we had uh, last weekend over the weekend itself was gorgeous, and we've had a stretch of, you know, I love this kind of weather where it's you know blue sky and light winds and just you know perfect out there and. We're fortunate because, uh, you know, it was a real stormy month for a while. You know, every day was rainy and foggy and snow. And, you know, right around uh, the 21st or so, things changed. And uh, it's going to be nice, actually, in the looking ahead. Um, we have uh, sunshine today and maybe just a little light rain tomorrow. Now, I maybe a slight possibility of a little freezing rain overnight. I would, you know, keep an eye on that. It really shouldn't mount to much at all, but um, any amount of you know freezing rain could cause problems early tomorrow morning. Although I think it's going to be very minor, uh, and the forecast stays mild into the weekend. So you saw those temps of uh, upper 40s, 50. We should be, you know, more like 32, 34 this time of year. Uh, so we'll take it uh, for as long as we can. Yeah, but do you know the on the back side of that, there's going to be bad weather. You know that, you know. You pay for the good, like like Florida's been getting got pounded with rain last week. Cali oh, yes. California had had their had their their bout. The upper Midwest sooner or later, it'll, all the bad weather will focus here. It'll happen. Yeah, yeah. I think it was in Florida. I don't know if it was Fort Lauderdale or, or that where they had I think something like th uh, three inches of rain in an hour or you know something really intense. Yeah, uh, or maybe it was six inches of rain. I think it was. It was amazing. If you at Gulfstream Park, uh, all the horses and all the stables, uh, they were standing in uh, four to five inches of water. Yeah, and it was that way in general. So we've been lucky, and heck, we deserve it, though. We deserve it. Yeah, yeah we definitely do. And and actually, on this date, Marshall, in uh, 2010, we had a blizzard up here. I don't know if you remember that one. That uh, gave about. 20 inches of snow on average to eastern New York and New England and New Jersey. Um, and it caused all kinds of havoc. It you know, messed, messed up the subways in New York City and you know, people stranded from, a, you know, getting from, off of the, uh, from JFK. They tried to get the subway and they were stuck on the subway for hours. Uh, that was in 2010. I, I remember it. I remember it. I remember every time it snows yeah. to me and you, you get too much snow. I remember it all very vividly. I don't like to, I don't like those memories though. I don't. So, <laughs> so what was your favorite gift you got for Christmas? Well, oh yes. Uh, just what I love Christmas Eve, Christmas day, you know, just tons and tons of food. Uh, terrific, terrific food everywhere. Wine and, 
I got I got you know some gift cards uh, for you know to go shopping for clothes because I need some new nice clothes and that's really what I needed this year. Uh, and I'm gonna go down to Florida next month, so I got some plane tickets uh, for around the Martin Luther King holiday. All right, go down to Miami for that holiday. So that too, was great. That's great too. All right, well, not too bad. All right, all right. Well, then recap that forecast for us. Yeah, you got it. So partly sunny today, you know, low 40s, and partly cloudy tonight. There could be a little light rain or freezing rain later. Uh, temps in the 30s, and any light rain or freezing rain drizzle will end Friday morning near 50. And for the weekend, upper 40s with sunshine on Saturday, and some rain looks like moves in, and just rain. I don't think any snow or ice. Sunday and highs near 50 again. All right. And uh, any outlook for uh, what uh, January or New Year's Eve might look like? Uh, yeah, great question. And we will see a trend towards colder temps. I think New Year's Eve, which is Tuesday, it's going to be colder, but we're not talking bitter cold. You see the little cold air will move in. I think, you know, when the ball drops, you know, around that time, midnight, I'd say we're talking temps around 20 or so here in the uh, around where we are. And then down in Times Square, about 30, let's say, 32 maybe for when midnight as 2020 ushers in. Can't even uh, through, uh, you know, rule out a snow flurry, but, um, but no you know, weather problems. And not bitter, bitter cold, just you know, normal, normal Normal stuff. cold, normal weather cold. All right, well, that's it. Well, hey, we'll speak to you next time. Pat's off. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Anthony, take care. Thanks so much, Marshall. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Anthony J. in the Weather Center this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.